Hi everyone, this is Crypto Layman here. Today I want to discuss with you uh, a concern that's been raised by the community in general that uh, there is a worrying trend of hotspot farms being placed uh, all across the globe where people are trying to uh, play the system and make gains uh, but without really adding any value to the network itself. Um, that is concerning. Uh, I mean, we have uh, Bitcoin farms, Ethereum farms uh, in China. They are on very, very large scales and they have dominated uh, that mining industry uh, for a long time now. And it has made it impossible for people like you and I to get into Bitcoin mining because the competition is just too great. Uh, the amount of money they've put into the, the mining devices, etc., is just enormous. And you and I could never compete with it. Um, so we understandably don't want anything of a similar nature happening uh, to the Helium project. So the community was a bit concerned uh, about these farms popping up where people are placing hotspots strategically um, to play the system. Uh, within sort of uh, certain distances but they're not really adding anything um, in terms of expanding the network so I looked into whether or not the helium community and the developers were aware of this problem and I was pleasantly surprised that they actually are very aware very aware of uh, what's going on and also um, there are th currently several proposals on the table that are being discussed amongst the community um, in order to sort of uh, uproot these bad actors and make things not so profitable for them. Um, so the current uh, proposals on the table uh, in a nutshell are HIP 14, uh, the Helium Improvement Proposal 14, which basically uh, has where it has been suggested to uh, break down hexagons in little islands with particular hotspots uh, being you know being the creators of islands depending on how old they were are on the blockchain etc um and then thereby adding those islands by once they've proved that there is coverage uh and and once they've uh, successfully participated in the proof of coverage challenges uh, then those islands are sort of linked together to uh, visualize on a map how uh, the network coverage is improving. So that's one solution. Uh, then that you have HIP, 15, uh, HIP 15 that's being discussed. Uh, in HIP 15, as a proposal, they are proposing changes uh, to the rewards um, for beaconing and witnessing, um, but beaconing in particular in in hip 15 uh so it's less sort of uh profitable for uh beaconing hotspots um and also also there will be a uh, the distance between the the witness and the the beacon hotspot will also play a role uh so that's being discussed uh hip 17 or the helium improvement proposal 17 uh is uh suggesting that uh, or, or they're looking at the density of uh, hotspots in a uh, particular uh, hexagon area so if there are too many hotspots obviously the rewards are scaled down i think that is already implemented to the implemented to a degree but they're discussing further changes uh, to the protocol um in hip 17 so that uh, it can be further refined um, to uproot those bad actors and to prevent from people uh, playing the system. Um, so the proposals uh, are there. I'm not going to go in, in detail in this video about what the proposals are actually um, exactly uh, proposed to do. Um, but there are proposals there. They are being discussed and it's reassuring that the community is very actively involved uh, in in actually um, putting these solutions forward and discussing their concerns and putting them forward. Uh, once a consensus reaches on any one proposal or a mixture or combination of uh, several proposals, 
uh, amongst the community, uh, then th that pr the proposal or the a combination of proposals are approved, uh, adopted, and deployed across the network to improve things. So that is what's happening in terms of the network and people trying to play it. I uh, hope this was a, a little uh, more helpful and it will put you at ease that it is truly a people-powered people, people powered network uh, because the community has a say in actually what happens. Um, so when I, when I talk about Hexagon, you are probably familiar if you go on to um, on the helium dot place you will see the the hexagon structures that the helium hotspot uh, coverage sort of uh, determines um he uh, hip 17 is what really introduced the reward scale uh, based on the density of uh, hotspots in a particular area and that's then displayed here reward scale one um again if there are too many hotspots in a close vicinity then uh, it basically um scales down the rewards so it's not as profitable so things are being looked at in that in that sense um and then also um there are sort of several changes being suggested about uh the beaconing process and the rewards that it carries uh as part of the proof of uh, coverage challenge so those are the proposals on the table um and something is being done about them um, before I go, um, I just want to quickly let you know there are massive delays at the moment uh, when it comes to um, helium devices uh, because of short uh, shortages of components. So if you order a, a helium device now, I would suggest that you anticipate a waiting time of uh, three months approximately, if not slightly more. So that's another thing that you need to be aware of. Um, the shortage and the the delivery uh, times are absolutely horrendous right now. The demand is very high and the supply is very, very limited for these hotspots. Um, so thank you very much uh, for staying tuned and checking out this video. Uh, and hopefully this has been able to put you put your mind at rest and at ease. Uh, in terms of the project slightly um, and I will speak to you very soon again if you haven't already please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel or give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful thank you very much for all your support and take care of yourselves